Another really handy way to navigate around your documents in Illustrator is with a panel. Now it's not visible at the moment. So if you ever find you're looking for a certain set of tools, you'll find them all from pretty much under the window menu. Up at the top of the screen, listed roughly in alphabetical order, the one that we need is called Navigator. So when I hover over that and it turns blue, when I left click, it pops up on screen. Now this hasn't appeared like the others have that we've seen so far. They were all tucked to the side of the screen in a mode that's called docked. This is a floating panel and you can move this and I will show you how to in just a second. But essentially what the Navigator does is it shows you every single artboard in your document inside that thumbnail area. And then the region that you can see in your large image window is shown in a red box. The really neat thing about this is that if I know I need to go and edit some of those clouds, I just hover my cursor over the red box, which is called the proxy preview area and click and hold down the mouse and drag that red box. I know where I am and I know exactly where I need to be. And so you can pan there much more efficiently than with those scroll bars, which are a little bit crazy. And if I wish to go anywhere else, you just click around and drag. So it's a very handy way of being able to whiz around your document and it pretty much encompasses every zooming feature that Illustrator has to offer. If you need to zoom in, well, head down to the big mountain called zoom in, click on that until you get to the zoom level that you need. Notice that as you do, the red box becomes smaller because of course the part of the image that we can see in the artwork is a much smaller region and that's shown in the red box. Again, hovering your cursor over there and clicking and dragging does exactly the same thing. Just watch out though, if you zoom in really far, that red box becomes very, very small on screen. So it can be sometimes a little bit tricky to grab that and move it, but eventually we'll be able to with a little bit of practice. You can zoom out as well. So if I go to the tiny mountain, zoom out, I repeatedly again, left click with a mouse and you can keep zooming out, click around to be able to navigate and pan. You can also pick one of the preset zoom levels as well. So from this list inside of here, if I click on 150, that's exactly where it will take me. So the navigator panel pretty much encompasses everything that you need. If that's what you want, 